Greetings everyone and welcome back. Introducing Delta NAS, a compact customizable network storage solution built around the powerful Latte Panda 3 Delta. Equipped with a 1 terabyte SATA SSD, this sleek setup is housed in a fully custom designed 3D printed enclosure. Delta NAS mounts seamlessly on a wall via a specially designed tray mechanism that uses a standard TV mount, allowing easy sliding and secure placement. What sets this build apart is its internal battery pack, providing uninterrupted power during outages, effectively functioning as a built-in UPS. For additional information about the Thoro build guide, please visit this project page. Link is in video description. This project design was straightforward. We took the Latte Panda 3 Delta's 3D model to make a housing for the SSD and a custom PCB on which we mounted SMD lithium ion cell holder. Here we created a cuboid shape enclosure with an opening on the left side of the design. We added a lid to the left side of the enclosure that has four mounting holes, grills for airflow and an opening for Latte Panda's USB ports. We also included opening for Type-C, HDMI and Ethernet port on the right side of the design. We are repurposing an old LCD TV stand for wall mounting the entire NAS design. Because of the stand's unique design which resembles a sliding rail, we created a part that slides into the rail to mount the NAS on the wall. For the main control unit of our NAS setup, we are using the Latte Panda 3 Delta, a compact x86 single board computer that packs a desktop level performance into palm size form factor. It's powered by an Intel 11th Gen Celeron N5105 processor and equipped with 8GB of LPDDR4 RAM, running at 2933 MHz. In our case, the Latte Panda 3 Delta is running Debian as its main operating system paired with Casa OS to transform it into full-fledged NAS. To power the Latte Panda, we designed a 12 volt battery pack consisting of three lithium cells mounted on a circuit board and linked with a BMS. Here, the SMD18650 cell holder was mounted on one side of the PCB and BMS was positioned on the other side. We also included an M7 diode to charge the cells, a 10K resistor and a 0603 indicator LED which illuminates when battery pack receives 12V power by connecting the charger. The high cut feature of BMS allow it to cut off the external power supply to each cell when cell have reached full charge. This enable us to create a basic UPS for our Latte Panda 3 Delta using battery pack in combination with a 12V charger. We prepared the Gerber data and send it to PCBWay for samples. For this project, we opted for a white solder mask PCB with black cell screen. After placing the order, the PCBs were received within a week and the PCB quality was pretty great. Over the past 10 years, PCBWay has distinguished themselves by providing outstanding PCB manufacturing and assembling services, becoming a trusted partner for countless engineers and designers worldwide. You guys can check out PCBWay if you want great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. Using our NAS, we were able to access saved data on our SATA SSD, which included family photos, videos, and some crucial work document, and even some old retro ROM files that I collected over years. The idea behind setting up this NAS was to create a common storage system that anyone in my family could access and view or save their stuff. One terabyte of SATA SSD isn't particular fast or large, but this was just a demo project. In future revision, I plan to make few changes to this NAS setup, such as adding more storage and even trying out other NAS OS instead of web service that I use in this project. Please let me know if you require any additional assistance. All the documents, file and other details are included in the project page. In addition, we appreciate PCBWay support of this project. Visit them for a variety of PCB related services such as stencil service, PCB assembly services as well as 3D printing services. Thanks for reaching this far and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.